So now we have a 122 pound person um, dropping from a height of 20 feet onto a three feet tall trampoline um, and it wants to know what uh, what distance this moves okay um, it gives us the spring constant for the trampoline and so I'm going to call this Delta X which is equal to three feet minus uh, my height Um, okay, so first of all, we need to do some unit stuff here. Um, so we're given our K as 40 uh, pounds per inch. So um, a force pound is 4.44822 uh, newtons. A foot is 12 inches and a foot is uh, 0 0.3048 meters. So our K here um, our K here is uh, 40 pounds per inch times 4.44822 newtons per pound times uh, 12 inches per uh, 0 0.3048 meters, which is 7,005.07 uh, newtons per meter. Our weight is just mg, which is 122 pounds, which we need to multiply by our uh, newton per pound conversion to get uh, 542.683 newtons. Um, okay, so now our initial, uh, we can use conservation of energy here. So our initial energy is uh, our gravitational energy, which is 542.683 newtons times our initial height, which is 20 feet, times uh, 0 0.3048 meters per foot, which is 3308.19 joules. And now from conservation of energy, um, we have that our final energy or I should say, uh, before, do it, before going there, um, our initial energy is just our potential energy. Our final energy is going to be uh, our final potential energy plus, uh, well, our final potential energy. Um, now we're assuming when we reach the bottom of the trampoline that there's zero kinetic energy. So it's just going to be uh, potential in both cases. So our final potential energy is going to be our gravitational potential energy, so our final height, mg times our final height, plus um, our spring potential energy, which is one half um, k delta x squared. So now um, for delta x, so if we kind of expand this a bit, so this is three feet, 
Um, this is our height final. So this here is delta x. And so we can see that delta x is three feet minus our final height. So then our final potential energy is mg, and our little man is there, mghf plus one half k, three feet minus our hf. Um, squared, sorry. Um, <clears throat> and just to do some conversions there, so three feet times um, our 0 0.3048 meters per foot comes out to be 0 0.9144 meters. Okay, so from our conservation of energy, we have that UI is 3308.19 joules and our UF is our MG, which is 542.683 newtons times our final height plus our K, one half of our K, which we solved for 7,005. 0.07 newtons per meter times our 0 0.9144 meters minus our HF squared. So now um, we can expand this in terms of our HF. Times HF. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to have to square that, so this is um, 3502.535 newtons per meter, and then this all gets multiplied by uh, 0 0.9144 meters squared minus 2 times 0 0.9144 times hf plus hf squared. And so working this all through, we've got and, it, and rearranging things to look more like a quadratic equation. 3201.8036, um, and this will be in Newton meters, minus 5862.75 three times HF, uh, plus 3502.535 newtons per meter times hf squared. Okay, so now our ui has to equal our uf. And so we can rearrange this. And I'm going to put it into more of a quadratic equation. So I'm just going to skip a couple steps here and say that we're going to end up with a quadratic equation like this guy. Um, so that's just um, putting in our UI rearranging um, in terms of the HF and then dividing by um, the A term. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so now we've got a quadratic equation. So we can solve for our HF. As uh, minus B. plus or minus root b squared uh, 
minus 4ac all over 2a, um, which is equal to 1.67386. Over two plus or minus one point seven oh nine seven seven over two, which is minus zero point zero one seven nine five or uh, one point six nine one eight one five. And so these two solutions correspond to um, the bottom and top solution so the top solution doesn't make any sense because there's no way it's going to balance up so only the bottom solution makes any sense so it'd be this value which is negative and so it asks um, will it bottom out and it will so we've we've gone past the ground here and so um, it's going to bottom out by this amount or putting this into feet um, negative 0 0.059 feet um, so HF so for B um, since HF is below the ground by uh, 0 0.06 uh, feet roughly then we need to add a 0 0.06 foot support so the support needs to be um, I would say greater than 0 0.06 feet Okay, so get our initial potential energy, set it um, equal to our final potential energy, um, <clears throat> uh, so the only issue here is they're solving for um, X directly, um, which is doable, but without um, taking into account your initial potential, your final potential energy. Um, so. Um, <clears throat> Three point three eight feet. Okay. Um, okay. So actually, you don't bottom out quite that badly. So this final energy here. Um, doesn't include the the um, uh, <clears throat> gravitational potential energy uh, the final gravitational potential energy of the person so it's putting all the energy into the trampoline um, but the person still has gravitational potential energy um, and so that actually reduces the amount that it's bottoming out. Um, so I'm going to say um, that the final potential energy is missing the um, is missing gravitation. And I'm going to say that this is incorrect. <clears throat> 